All right, Stephen, we, uh, we've come back to see the new uh, innovations of the Kid Cannon. Sure. So walk us through it, because I we love this as something that's great for bowling. Well, yeah, so last year we took a lot of advice from all the proprietors that were real interested in putting them in their centers, and the biggest uh, feedback that we got was a safety system. So I go in ahead and stop production and put in about six months of work to put the new safety system in place. Can you show it to us in yeah, detail? Absolutely. I'll, I'll move with you. <laughs> So basically the cannon, just like before, the kid loads the ball, and we can go over that as well. But now, these safety towers actually go on each side of the lane, and the kid or the adult has to put it into this safety zone. So that's what this box is. You can see the little red lights. So if the user turns it too sharp or pulls it out, the cannon will actually flash red and stop working. So the ball can't fire down your approach or so, anywhere you don't want it to. So in other words, you can't shoot the cameraman right you now. You cannot right? shoot the cameraman. Yeah, okay. especially because the second part of the safety system is that so uh, sonar in the front. So that sonar is actually seeing the cannon, uh, the cameraman right now. Excellent. Can you do a demo? Put a ball in there for us. We cannot well, do that. You cannot do that here. <laughs> they won't let us do that because we don't have sorry, a Sorry, I asked it. We'll have to edit that out. Yeah. Um, okay. But Any I can show you how the safety system works if you want me to turn that on. Sure. Yeah. If you want, we can show you the back panel while we're doing that. Okay. But that would be Let, beneficial for him. Let's come around and take a look at the back panel. Okay. Looks so, pretty good. Yeah, we added a few new features this year. So right here is this is actually your on-off mode. So this turns the cannon, if I can get the key in the hole. On or off. This is your volume control, so they can do quiet, loud, or off if they're not wanting any volume at all. And then these are your different modes. So what's nice about the different modes, if I can see, I'm kind of showing the thing, is you have on kid mode now. That's an, also a new feature that locks the speed at only 10 miles an hour. So normally the kid can power it up to 10, 14, 18 miles an hour. So it's just as fast as you or I can throw it. Kid mode locks it into where it just goes to the first sensor. And then we have demo, which it was in for here. So I'm gonna actually put this in kid mode and let the machine fire up for you. I got a question. When you're in kid Welcome. mode with a kid playing versus adults, do the scores get better as you get faster, or it doesn't make any difference? Nope. It's more skill. It's just more skill. So, I mean, if you shoot it faster, you can get more pin action. And I don't know if you saw that, but the, so this cannon is now live. So if you heard the motor come back, it hit sensor one, it actually dropped the barrier out of the way, and now when you put a ball in, ball in, it locks up in place after you hit the ball sensor, so it knows that there's a ball in there so you can't load multiple balls. Okay. Now it's good to go. If I power this thing up and fire it, it will shoot. So. And you and I, from what I understand too, you can do this with smaller balls for like five pin, et cetera. Yeah, so we're working on a system that we'll be able to put an insert in for uh, candle pin bowling and things like that as well. That'll be a that'll be future. We're just getting these to market right now. Okay. Do you have? Everyone's asking the same question. What what does this cost? Basic per unit. So our per unit cost for retail is 7000 so $69.99. And for show specials, when people come here, because we order in batches, because we only ship quarterly, we do about $1,000 off per cannon. So people who come see us at the show can get it through the end of the month. So and if actually they see this video before we put our ne next batch in, we're going to extend that promo out as well. Awesome. Yeah. So wow. uh, actually, real quick with the safety. So now that it's live, this, can, this again, it can actually shoot. If that is moved or a sensor is blocked at all, Actually, I'll let you block the sensor. Okay. If you try and power this up at all, if you I notice, the it. cannon is now flashing red. And it's all red. Yep. So now, if you move, the cannon goes green and it's live again. But if I pull it out and try and turn it, it dies. So that was the biggest thing, that the newest innovation that we've added to it. So this is good. If someone yeah. tries to steal it, it turns red, right? It does, yeah. It can, it can operate without everything. <laughs> Excellent. Controls, professional. Hey, Stephen, well done. This is a fantastic product. No, appreciate you coming and, out. We always have a blast hanging and, out. And here. I wish you the best of luck. This is something the bowling industry has needed for a long time. No, appreciate it. Well, we're just hoping to add something new to centers, get kids on the lane excited, and we can watch all our videos on our website that show how the kids are actually getting pin action. They're scoring higher than their dad. Hey, you, you don't have to just keep saying kids. When you get to be my age, I may, I may decide to bowl with well, that. I, I'm only good for about two games before my wrist starts hurting, so we always joke that we're going to bowl a couple regular games and then have a kid cannon battle. I'd like to have a tournament with you on this. Yeah, absolutely.
I think I'd stand a better chance. Right? No, yeah, well, it depends if we're both using it or not. This kid, the kid cannon, has beat me every time I played against it. I, I'm not proud of that fact, but it's done pretty well. Excellent. Awesome. Great. Thank hey, you again. Appreciate your time.